you boys and girls today we are going to do a practice that i learned when i was doing my zen mindfulness teaching course it's a really nice practice because it allows you to sit with all your feelings and emotions and like everything bubble up that needs to bubble up it allows you to notice any pain or stress or discomfort you have but keeps you focused because your brain is doing something different Today our brain will be counting while we take our breaths and we'll be counting to 10 just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Every time we breathe in we count 1, we breathe out, we, breathe, we count 2. Now you can do this lying down or sitting and we're going to do this for a wee bit longer than usual. We're going to do this for a whole 5 minutes. Now, usually when I do this with adults and parents and teachers, I do this for 25 minutes. And you can do the whole 25 minutes if you want. If you think I can set a timer on my phone and I can go the whole 25 minutes, great, that's brilliant. If you can't, that's fine. And if you can manage a couple of minutes doing it, perfect. It's about what works for you. And if you are feeling overwhelmed with any emotions or feelings that are bubbling up and you think, no, I can't do this anymore, that's okay. Just take a deep breath and stop the practice until you're ready to continue again. If you can sit with all those feelings and emotions, that's also really good. It's a good way of showing your brain that yes, there is really tough, big emotions bubbling up on the surface. But I can keep myself focused and I can keep myself breathing and I can help my body process all that emotions and feelings. Because actually, boys and girls, that's the most important thing. The most important thing is that we learn how to manage our emotions and feelings. That they can be so big and powerful and take over. And some days we'll have good days and some days we'll have bad days. But being able to sit with these emotions allows our brain to process how we're actually feeling. And when I do this practice afterwards, I write down exactly what I've thought about, what's came up, anything that I'm grateful for, anything that really resonated from my practice, anything that stuck with me from my practice. And it's a really good thing to do because if you can do this practice every day, it will help you sort out all those feelings and emotions and sort out anything that's happened or that you are worrying about without having to focus solely on all your worries and focusing on all the emotion that comes with it. So as I said, we're going to do this for a whole five minutes and I'm going to ding my bell to start and I'm going to ding my bell to finish. But what I want you to do is either lie on your side or sit on your, sit with your legs in the basket. Now you can put your hands on your tummy because that's how I like to sit with my hands placed right there in the centre of my tummy. And we are just going to start breathing and relaxing. Now, as I said, if you can't manage the whole five minutes, that's fine. If you want to try doing it longer, that's up to you. But what we're going to do is just going to get ourselves comfortable and we're just about to start. So take a deep breath in and out. In and out. In. And now, letting our body relax as we breathe in and out, noticing our tummies rising and falling as we breathe in. And out. In. And out. 
So let us begin counting. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you get distracted boys and girls, that's okay. Just start counting from one again. Just breathing one, two, three. Notice feelings of thoughts or emotions trying to pull you away, trying to distract your mind. Just take a big deep breath in and start your counting again. only get to two that's fine just keep counting if you go too high notice that and just start again as we breathe in and out in and out Open your eyes, boys and girls. Make a big stretch if you need to. And what I would suggest is take a pen and paper and write down exactly what you had experienced, what you remember, anything that comes up, any thoughts or feelings. It doesn't need to be a long thing. Just take a couple of minutes to get all your thoughts and feelings out. For some people who are a bit more visual, they may want to draw that. And that's okay. But just remember, boys and girls, to keep practicing your breathing, keep practicing your mindfulness and relaxation to help your brain process all these emotions and feelings that you're having right now.